think I'm gonna chop my hair. So oh, good. good. I don't know what to do with my hair. Sunday morning after a full sun Saturday. Here we are. I'm honestly pretty okay considering how full sun yesterday was. I mean, it wasn't so full sun, but it was full sun. But as much as I love my Mondays, I love my Sundays to prepare for my Mondays. So I wanna do some cleaning around the apartment, get it all, you know, situated. I'm looking good for the week. Gotta get groceries, gotta have my food for the week. And I wanna plan out the meals that I'm gonna have so I can cook. I feel like when I first get here, it's just easy to go to the easy go-tos. But I wanna like get back into cooking stuff. I also think that I'm gonna go to the farmer's market with Tasha in the Palisades. She has this hummus that she's obsessed with from there and I need to try it because I love hummus. So I think we'll do that. It's 9 a.m. I'm gonna have a nice chill day, do some reading. Cause Sundays are also for chilling. Straight chilling. It's the one day of a weekend I feel like we have to truly relax. Saturday's fun, Sunday's chill. Mm. But good morning, welcome to the vlog. All right. I'm doing it. I feel like I look so tired, but we're doing it. We're going out there in the world. It's like 11 a.m. We're gonna walk over to Tasha's and then we're gonna drive to the Palisades Village, I think is where Farmer's Market is. Get some good hummus, come back here, Trader Joe's, chill time. Cute, and I'm over here like the bags. No, it's fine, but we're getting hummus. Apparently, it's the best. That's why we're here. Honestly, this was the highlight. We're starting off strong. Yes. <laughs> How fun to just get like flowers. Isn't it cute? You should get some flowers. I actually think I will. Hello. Saying thank you. convincing me that we have to go. So, it looks very cute. Oh, look, I love this. The way everything's in containers. It's just it's so good. aesthetic. <laughs> Where the, look at I all this stuff. Have you ever had a buffalo cauliflower? No. We gotta go next week. Let's okay. Go. So the juices, like this looks so good. Look at these little shots. They're precious. Oh my. I would just refill the glass. <gasps> look at all the different kinds of drinks. <laughs> This is stunning. I feel like an LA tourist. Now I'm we're getting hungry. Out. Yeah, next week we're coming. The white bean one. Yeah. Okay, Tasha took me to um, one of her favorite lookout points. It's so good. So this isn't even it, but look at this view. Oh my God. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Like it's, it's so gorgeous. Good for oh, I bet. I'm like waiting to take a date here, but they have to be worthy. <laughs> They're never worthy. <laughs> no. What? What a gorgeous Sunday. Okay, there's a glitch in the. Oh, oh my God. That's so weird. The bird was just hovering. Strange. Anyways. <laughs> Okay, it's two o'clock, just got home. I got myself some flowers. I never buy myself flowers, but I always think I should. So I love them, and why wouldn't I buy myself flowers? Got a matcha from Alfred's, which is so good, it's so sweet. And then let me show you guys what I got at 
the farmer's market. So I got the hummus that Tasha loves. Her favorite's the roasted garlic hummus. So I got that, obviously. And then I got the sun-dried tomato garlic. Like, look how good this looks. So I have to try them. And then I got this miso dressing because I've been wanting a miso dressing ever since we were in Barcelona and we had those like rice bowls and there was a miso dressing. I feel like this is gonna taste different than that based on the ingredients that I didn't look at. But you know what? I think it's still gonna be good. This is miso ginger, vegetable brine, apple cider, and pear juice. The one that I had in Barcelona was miso, honey, and coconut milk, which is Mm, it was so creamy. I told Tasha I would send her a video of me trying it, so I'm gonna set this up too. I'm trying the roasted, the roasted garlic first. Mmm, it's so creamy. Oh, it's so good. Okay, wait. So no tomato. Oh my god! Wow, they are good. This red tomato one is so yummy. I am so happy right now. It's very sun-dried tomatoey, which is perfect. Oh my god. I could just stand here and keep eating this and not stop. Okay, another one. I also think I'm gonna go right to Trader Joe's and not sit on the couch because I know if I sit down, I'm not gonna wanna get back up. I just wanna like get it done with so I can put on like pajamas and then sit on the couch for the rest of the day. Sounds like the perfect Sunday thing to do. Mmm. Okay, I kinda wanna try this dressing. I am curious. Oh, it smells really good. I'm gonna dip a straw in there. Mmm, wait, yum. That's delicious. Okay, success. I love a good farmer's market. That was so fun. Okay, I'm having one more, one more cracker and then I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. minutes later and we're back. Nice and speedy. I love that. I am feeling tired. He also put all my groceries in a bag even though I had my tote. So I put the bag in the tote. Just easier to carry. Got another thing of chicken. I didn't have a list. I didn't I didn't plan before I went out with Tasha and I just wanted to get it over with. So I bought random stuff. There was no plan for the week but I think this should be solid. We got grape tomatoes. I got two wraps. I got the spicy lentil of course. And then I also got the veggie wrap with hummus. I've never tried this. I'm intrigued. I got this broccoli and kale slaw. Yum. I got another thing of the everything but the bagel crackers because I am making my way through them quickly. <laughs> got my eggs, happy to have breakfast back. I got the cauliflower pizza crust. And then I also got pizza sauce. So I could make little mini pizzas at home. Pizza sauce, and then I got the medium salsa. And lastly, the coffee and the creamer. I am ordering in for dinner tonight. I told myself I was gonna do that and I feel like it's the right thing for a Sunday. I'm gonna order ramen and I'm gonna order from my favorite place, but I'm not gonna order my go-to bowl. This is so weird, but to me, it would feel okay if the bowl I order in isn't as good as my like go-to bowl. It's only really bad when I'm at the restaurant and I've like gone there and then the bowl didn't hit because it's like I'm there. But if I'm home and it's not the perfect bowl, I'm okay with that. I don't know why I'm like this. Anyways, huh, it was hot outside. I'm gonna rinse off and then I'm going to put on my pajamas. Yesterday ended up being more of like a I needed to rest kind of Sunday versus I get my shit together. Even though I do feel like there was some balance, it's still, I needed the rest and it took priority. Honestly, I just binged Love is Blind. That's some crazy stuff. This is a crazy show. Mmm. I added a different seasoning on top because I ran out of the cayenne and it's like a nice little different experience. But we've arrived. It's Monday. Quite honestly, my body still feels like it needs a bit of rest. I still woke up at seven because I 
want to stick to that as i've said many times but i do try to still listen to my body and what it needs and so we'll see what happens today but this vlog is actually sponsored by case defy they sent over a couple new cases and i'm obsessed like i'm obsessed so this is one of the cases i picked out how cute is it it says just a small reminder to show up for yourself today which i really love case defy has actually worked with over 300 different artists to come out with different collections and this is a part of their mirrors reflect you collection which is one of my favorites actually they have so many cute cases let me show you the other one i got so here's the other case that I got. It's from the same collection and the collection is basically just to support mental health, self-love, healing. And this one says your happiness is worth more than their opinion. And I... I really love that. They actually have new EcoShock technology in their new iPhone 14 impact cases where you can drop your phone up to 11 and a half feet. Their cases are five times the military standard. So they've been drop tested like 130 different times to make sure that the EcoShock actually works. And obviously they're so cute. They're sleek, they're aesthetic, and they keep your phone safe. Like all the good things. Plus their cases are made out of 65% recycled and plant-based materials and partially actually from their upcycle program, which just basically gives new life to post-consumer waste. We love Case Defy. I have a code, a link down below. You can just go to casedefy.com slash Michelle for 15% off your new goodies. Link down below. I'm eating my eggs and then I got to figure out what my day looks like. I don't really know. 11-11, make a wish. We skipped yesterday, it wasn't my day. But we're back this morning, hello. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna chop my hair today. I have a hair appointment this afternoon that I'm really looking forward to, because as you can see, it's, it's been a while. But the question is, do I just do like a little trim or do I cut off? Mm. I've been looking in the mirror and just keeping my layers in front to get an idea. I feel like I would maybe regret it. <laughs> maybe not. This is kind of cute. My dishwasher's on. But this is also cute. I don't know. All I know about today is that I'm working out in 15 minutes, got my class with Kaya, then I'm going to lunch with Jill and a couple of her friends from home that are here visiting, and then I have my hair appointment. But my hair is likely gonna be a game time decision. Just don't know. I like having long hair, but it's always so dead past a certain point that I'm like, it's much healthier if I cut it but I don't know if I wanna do that. Anyways, whatever. Yesterday was one of those days that I just like couldn't get myself out of my negative mindset, which is horrible, but it's just like my truth. Some days I have just like dark whole days in my brain. Now, I'm not saying any of this to make anyone feel bad for me or to complain about my life because I love my life. I have a fantastic life, but to be honest, like we all have those days where our brains just like take over and on those days i know the things that i'm supposed to do to make me feel better like go for a walk get outside fresh air like i know my my ways of fixing those moods but when i have those days i don't want to do any of them i'm like fuck this what's the point i may as well just sit and that's what i did and i want to say this because it's so easy when you're in those mindsets to feel like oh my god i'm so alone in these feelings and i just want everyone to know that no matter what kind of life you live or how privileged you are or whatever everyone has dark days and for no reason i have no i had no reason to truly spiral yesterday but i did and it's funny because you wouldn't know based on the clips that i did film yesterday like i was okay and then it just a certain corner was turned and i couldn't turn it back woke up feeling much better this morning as that usually happens you know if you have a bad day i always just count on tomorrow being better and usually it is anyways i just i say this in hopes that if one of you are having a day that i had yesterday where your negative thoughts are just taking over just to remind yourself that your thoughts can lie to you your brain can lie to you all the time about things that are just so untrue and that tomorrow is going to be better it's something that i've been working on lately yesterday didn't work so much but i'm working on it i'm working on knowing that i can control my thoughts and my feelings and that i am not necessarily what my thoughts are i don't know if that makes sense but dishwasher's telling me shut the fuck up but you are in control of your thoughts and your mind and if you're having a bad day sometimes you gotta let yourself have it but remember that tomorrow will be better if not tomorrow the next day or the day after that but it'll always get better so just keep that in mind we all go through these days i gotta get ready for the workout class i gotta drink my coffee let's have a good day everybody <laughs> i will say it might happen again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fantastic. Okay, workout was fantastic. As always, Kaya always, she really brings it. I blow dry just my bangs to look somewhat more presentable. The rest will just have to air dry. I don't wanna like put heat on it before I get it done today. So I'm calling my Uber. We're going to lunch. We're going to this place called Great White. It's in Venice and it is really cute. Like the vibes are fantastic. I think I'm gonna chop my hair 
just feel like I need to purge some shit right now. And I've been seeing all these TikToks about there's like some new moon thing. I wish I understood astrology better than I do because I find it fascinating. But I saw this one TikTok last night about how if you're feeling like you just need to reinvent yourself or start over, do something crazy, it's because of this new moon. I don't, I don't know why, but I am feeling like a serious need to chop my hair and do something drastic with it. And that's always my go-to. Whenever I feel like I need to do something, it's always the hair. So I have no idea how I'm gonna walk out of the salon today. We're gonna see. But I'm feeling YOLO, who cares, fuck it, whatever. Silly goofy mood, that's how I feel. Anyways, let's go. got in that lunch was actually incredible it was so good the pizza we had was fucking insane it had like full cloves of roasted garlic mm. it was amazing with burrata and kale and i i don't know what to do with my hair i don't know they all said to go darker but i feel like this is already pretty dark i don't know what to do am i cutting it short I don't know. If I'm cutting it shorter, I think I'll go blonder. But if I go darker, I gotta keep it long. I don't know. It's gonna be a discussion when we get there of what to do. But here's the before. Well, wish me luck. Tell me how I ended up blonde again. <laughs> I don't know. I walked in there and I was like, I trust you. Anyways, it's blonde, but it's brown, but it's blonde. I love it. I think it's so good. I wish it wasn't dark outside so I could like show you in the light where I could even see them in the light. But I'm obsessed with the money pieces. They're chunky and they're big. And the rest of it just like blends so gorgeously. I love it. I love it, I love it. It's funny because at lunch, they were all saying that I should go dark and I was showing them all like the inspo pictures and they were like, definitely go dark, like do it. And sure enough, here I am, lighter and brighter. And I didn't chop my hair. I did cut off an inch. It looks so much healthier on the ends and it's actually like a professional cut versus what I do at home. I always get that urge and I know those of you that are also naturally brunette who dye their hair, I feel like we all get the urge to go dark in the fall and winter and we always end up regretting it. I mean, maybe it wouldn't have been a regret, but on my way there, I was looking through like my old photos and the last time I was dark was in 2018, I think. And I was looking at those pictures and I was like, just not giving like it's just so boring and granted if i ever went dark i would still have like some kind of dimension in there anyways it's eight o'clock that can't make sense i got there at 4 30 didn't even notice i had so much fun with him it's so nice when you find a colorist a stylist who you just like genuinely enjoy chatting with and the time flies like i can't believe where the afternoon went great day though i wish i could have told myself this time yesterday being like you know what Give it 24 hours. You're gonna feel great. You're gonna have had a great day, lots of yummy food, good vibes, cute hair, like everything in hindsight, I swear. But I am going to end the vlog here. I'm gonna make myself some dinner and I'm gonna crawl myself into bed, sleeping at 10 o'clock and I will start another vlog tomorrow. Doing a little work day with Jilly and then we got horror nights on Friday. So that'll also be in the next vlog. So much fun to come. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching today's vlog. Hope you're all doing well. And if not, remember, tomorrow you're gonna be fine. We're gonna wake up in the morning, fresh day, fresh start. Everything's gonna be okay. Sending you all of my love and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.